Hello, 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 it's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you my very first ever Timu purchase and unboxing. Now, I will say that this video quality is definitely not my normal. Um, it's because I've had to do a little bit of uh, rearranging. I'm about ready to travel and so in order to make sure that I got this video in before I left, I have had to do things differently. Um, but this is just going to be a short little unboxing just to show you what Timu has. I have seen other people excited about Timu. It's another Wish, AliExpress, um, Shine. You know, it's a uh, Chinese-based, sort of like an Amazon company where it's a bunch of different sellers. Um, each company works a little bit different. Timu is slightly different than AliExpress, etc., etc. But... Um, I thought I'll check it out and see what we have, especially I will have to give a shout out to Liz Harrison over at Scotty Dog Crafts because she did a Timu unboxing and she unboxed something that I looked at and I said, I have to have that. So I went ahead and I went and I checked them out. Uh, shipping was surprisingly speedy, faster than AliExpress. I got my order couple of weeks. I think it was within two weeks I had everything here. Um, I will say this package does contain items beyond just your crafting supplies, so there will be some surprises in here that you might be like, huh, that's interesting. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get started. Oh, my light just died on me. I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep my light on, guys. Like I said, I am not, I am ready to travel and things are not, um, not normal for me right now. All right. So, okay. Yeah. I am not going to be able to keep my light on. My light has died. So let's, um, actually just forget about that. And I think the lighting is good enough and I can fix it a little bit too later on. Um, so we're just going to keep, we're just going to keep going. Like I said, so sorry this is me living my real life super chaotic and busy I did get a um diamond painting coaster kit I have oh yeah okay this is this is a free item all right I will show you that that was a free item oh this is a, a cool scarf thing don't worry I'll go through all of these one one by one. All right, now this, oh, I hope this is okay. This was the item that Liz got that I decided I wanted to have. I'm a little nervous. Look at how this came to me. I hope it is not broken. We'll find out. And then I also have a couple of little scissors, craft scissors, and talk about random, a pill case. <laughs> All right, let me take these off and we will very quickly go through these items. First, I will show you this. This is a free item that I was able to just add on to my order. So what this is, is this is a, a like a dog washing brush. Um, you put dog shampoo in the top here. And then you can go ahead and put that lid back on. And then this is, I guess it's like a handle. Although you need a much smaller hand than what even I have. But then um, you can scrub your dog. And this is just soft plastic rubber type bristles here. Um, but, you know, scrub, scrub, scrub. And cute little smiley face on there I don't know if it'll work but I mean it was free and I thought it's not gonna hurt so let's go ahead we'll give that a try this is a pill case everyone in my family pretty much we are on medication for something or other every day um one of my kids is on actually a lot of medications and she needs like a morning, evening. She used to need a morning, afternoon and evening, like a three thing. 
but for the rest of us, we just, you know, we can just go get by with just having one little pocket. This is a weird plastic bit in there, but it's not, I mean, it's not looser. Oh, but it is broken. That's why it looks weird. Okay, so this is broken. <laughs> All right, that's broken. That's a disappointment. Okay, so that's broken item number one. All right, moving right along. These are just little craft shears because I'm always losing mine. These and measuring tapes. So they're supposed to be a bird. Do you see how that's a bird there? It does come with a little clasp on the end. Oh yeah, I mean, they cut really, really well. All right. They are sharp, they do cut. So these are actually nice. This is a this is a win. Here is a second pair of craft scissors that I got. I think I added these on, like I had everything in my cart and then they showed these other things. And I liked these craft scissors too. And these were so inexpensive. I don't remember how much I spent for these. Two bucks, maybe? I mean, so cheap. But these two, you know, really, they cut nice. And for what I use these for, which is really just cutting yarn, that's pretty much all that I use little craft scissors like this for. I stuck them in my yarn bags and I cut yarn. They are perfect. I mean, perfect. So those are good. All right, this was a cute scarf that I got with the cat print on here. My oldest loves cats. And this, I thought, kind of looked a little bit like her. So it does come with, you have some little tassels on here. Do you see that? A few little tassels. Oh, wow, it's big, guys. This is really, 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 like, I can't show you with this camera set up. It's not even possible. But it is wider than what you can see on the camera. I mean, this is two and a half feet. I bet this is about two and a half feet wide. And about six feet long. So, yeah, it's probably about two and a half feet wide and six feet long. But isn't that cute? Here, I'll have it so you can actually like see the cats in the right direction. That's the least I can do for you guys with this poor quality video. Yeah, so look at that. I thought that was really, really cute. I think my daughter, she might, I don't know. I don't know. She is 14. She's going to be high school. It can be hard. It's a hard age. She might love it or she might think nothing of it. I don't know. <laughs> um, You know, I was going to save this for last, but I am so concerned that it's broken. And that's going to be a huge disappointment for me that I think we're going to do it now. All right, well, it's, I mean, this is, you know, it's rough. It's in some rough shape here and it is filthy. Liz was saying the same thing with hers too. It is filthy. All right, so what this is, is this, oh, it's so dirty. Oh my word. Um. Okay. All right. I am not over the moon with the quality here. Um, how it came to me. Like the quality could be fine, except this is absolutely filthy. But this is, this peels off. And then of course you can see where you put all of your diamonds is on here. 
this side, we actually have some numbers exposed. And so that is not even sticky there anymore. Um, so I will need to use glue to get those to stay. And then I'll have to add a sealer, definitely. But after you put your drills down and you like do a really good job washing this disgusting middle piece that has, I mean, I don't know if you can see, there are massive scratches on here. Now you, yeah, you can kind of see that. I mean, huge scratches on here. Um, oh, and I don't think there's anything that peels off either. This is really ugly, like really ugly. I am totally disgusted. I mean, my hands are getting black. Ugh. All right, but it goes like this. I'm not sure. I don't know how you're supposed to get this. Is this supposed to then slide in there too? Oh yeah, here we go. Somehow, okay, can you see this? Somehow it's supposed to then be like this and then you can put it in the stand here, maybe. Oh boy. Oh, I wanted to like this so badly, guys. <gasps> I don't even know if I can get the stand to work. And I'll show you why. I don't know if you can see. It has been um, bent bad there. So it's some bad. I mean, I might be able to sand it down. Oh. All right. So with a lot of force, I can get this in there. But. And then there's sticky stuff back here that you peel off the back. And supposedly, that is then supposed to keep this all together. But I thought it'd be really pretty with like an electric candle behind it. I thought it would be really, really lovely. But this is, it is so so dirty it is so dirty and this plastic piece is this is beyond disgusting I can't even begin to describe to you how gross this middle plastic piece I mean this is disgust. oh it does look like oh yes it oh thank goodness it does look like at least this side does peel off hopefully both sides do I hope this peels I mean this is so gross I don't my hands are I mean can you see my hands are getting black this is really gross like really really gross oh and I don't dare take this out of the stand you can kind of see I had to like really jam it down in there and so now you have I don't know if you can see how that is now kind of busted. So when I stick it together, I think I'm going to have to um, leave it like this. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Oh, anyway, here are the beautiful crystals. Oh, this is so gross. But then where am I going to put this stand? I have to put it back in this box somehow. I don't know. Oh, guys, this was... All right, I mean, it's not it's not a total lost cause, all right? I can still put this together. I think I can still make it work. I think it will still be okay. But, oh, see, look, look, that was the only way I could get it in. So I'm going to have to find a way to, like, sand that down. Oh, this was sad. Oh, and 
I tried finding, oh, I don't know, I don't know. All right, I don't. So this is what it is. And hopefully when it's done, it will look that, I hope so. I hope with a little bit of TLC, it will look really good. Because that was the whole reason. <laughs> that was just the whole reason why I placed this Timu order. As for this item, because I saw Liz get it. <laughs> okay, and then here we go. Diamond painted coasters. And I think that was the most expensive thing I bought too. I think it was like $12. So I want it to work out okay. All right, that's a lot of crystals. These are all crystals. So here we go. Uh, these are, oh, these are just thin little acrylic coasters. So definitely are going to have to do something to seal these. I mean, any coaster you have to seal. Um, oh, here we go. Whew. There is some super thin flimsy cork board, but you can remove this top and then stick it to the acrylic and then you have then you do have a, a you know this is a slightly better coaster it's still it's still gonna be pretty flimsy um but i mean not not bad though so here we have a bird i think they're all birds if i remember correctly i thought they were cute yeah looks like they are all birds I can't remember if there's, I think there's eight in here. Are you guys seeing this? This is all in frame. I think so. But I really, I love birds. This was, I think maybe nine dollars, eight or nine dollars. I mean, the price was, all things considered, very, very reasonable. Trying to get these all laid out for you. All right, this is, there's 10. That is a weird number of coasters. <laughs> and number 10. So here, I will just show them to you. But these, you know, there is a thin plastic on the top here that does come off. Um, these, like I said, you're going to have to seal these. You can't use like a regular sealer. Um, but there are some like heat resistant glues and stuff that you can use on this that will keep it looking nice and protect those crystals. But here is number one. I, I mean, some of these look like they might be real birds, but for the most part, not really. Here's number two. I think this is maybe supposed to be, I like, I'm not sure about the background. Like, is this flowers? A tree. I'm not sure about some of the backgrounds on these, <laughs> but I did think they were cute. And they are cute. Like, I'm actually, I'm pleased with these. Despite being um, kind of flimsy, I, I think they're cute. I love that it's a full crystal. All of these are full crystal. This one is I wonder how close these blues are because if you see this is Y and that's X right next to each other so I wonder how close in color those blues are that will be fun to do fun to see first one we had this one's really cute it's two birds on there mama and baby This one, I wonder, it looks like maybe cherries. The cherry tree. And then some, like this one I think is kind of boring. I mean, it's pretty, pretty bland. <laughs> but it's still, I mean, it's cute yet, you know? So these, this set I'm, at, I'm actually pretty happy with. Here are our colors in here. I'm not going to open these up again. My hands are so dirty. They're so black. 
but it is all crystals. Really, really fun. This I am pretty pleased with. I mean, it does come in a cheap little wire stand here that actually looks better than the other set that I have where there is on the bottom, there's actually a gap in the wire down there making it not the most secure, but this is full. There's no breaks in here at all. So that's kind of nice. So yeah, all right. So this set I am actually quite happy with. This I am rather pleased with. Um, so to recap with my team order here, the coasters were actually quite good, I think. I forgot to put this in, probably in here. I'm not going to use it anyway, though, but the whole reason why I bought the set is disappointing, but it's not necessarily a lost cause. I think I can probably still make this work. We have the dog brush. We have the little scissors, which are fantastic. This might be the best thing. And the whole lot are these scissors. And I think these were no more than $5 for both of them. And I, yeah, this seriously may be the best thing in the purchase. Um, And then I think the only other thing is my busted pill case. That is a bummer. So excited for this too. I just loved that it was round. I loved that it was a different shape. But unless you don't need to take any pills on Monday, that is not going to work real well. So I need to look into return policy if it's even worth inquiring for a return. I don't know how much I spent on this, but I mean, it would have been no more than $2, I'm sure. And so is it worth... Is it worth going to grapes over two bucks? Probably not, you know, unless it's as simple as I can just send them a message with a picture saying, hey, look, this is broken and they just send me a new one, then that may be worth it. Otherwise, I'll probably just throw it away and say, okay, that was a lost cause. But otherwise, I mean, everything else was okay. You know, I don't know how this brush is going to work, but it was free. Um, Yeah, there you go. So that's my very first Timu order. And let me know what you think. Do you order from Timu? Does your stuff normally come this disgusting? <laughs> now that my light has died on me, you cannot see just how black my fingers got opening up those packages. That is really gross. Like, that's pretty disturbing. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to clean some of this. Anyway, anyway, um, I just i am curious to know your thoughts. I... For the most part, I try to avoid these Chinese websites, but I am always on the lookout for very, very affordable crafts because I know, um, I know me and a lot of you, that's what we need are very affordable crafts in the house. We just, we can't afford to always be getting these gorgeous, gorgeous canvases, even though, I mean... When you can swing it, it's totally worth it to get a Diamond Art Club, a Jaded Gem Shop, a Dreamer Design, a Craft Buddy. I mean, there's so many. Or a Loa. I mean, there are so many fabulous companies out there. Uh, I cannot wait because Bella Art Day Nicole, they just bought out Mary's Diamonds and they have finally been able to relaunch. There are a couple of kits there that I cannot wait to be able to afford. I mean, it's all just dreaming, right? <laughs> When you are a crafter, it's all about just dreaming and dreaming. And it's like, I want this and this and this. And oh, my word. The acquisition is part of the whole crafting disease and obsession. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, please do let me know in the comments below what your Timu experiences have been. I definitely would like to hear from you. Otherwise, like I always say, please practice kindness. You just don't know what someone's going through. You don't know the stresses that they may have in their life currently, what their history is like, the day they've had. So just be kind. It's just easier. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon.